Peace is but a shadow of death, desperate to forget its painful past. And though we hope for promising years after shedding a thousand tears, yesterday's sorrow constantly nears. And while the moon still shines bloom, by dawn it will turn to scarlet hue. What an auspicious day for Alexandria. Garnet's ascension to the throne has brought hope and peace to this kingdom. The people are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. But the celebration isn't over yet. It's time to really light things up. Your former master is here, Bahamut. Play a requiem for her and all of Alexandria. This game is so good at building tension, I love it. Ah. This way you hurry! I don't wanna die! Your Highness! It's Bahamut, isn't it? Beatrix, please gather our soldiers. Yes, Your Highness. Our soldiers have already assembled and await your orders. And of course, if you guys remember what the Knights of Pluto actually are with the strength- Hurry up, you fools! This is an emergency! A veritable urgency! Get your act together before the princess arrives! Line up! Your Highness, as you can see, we are ready to act at any moment. Please give your orders. Gather information. Who do you want to have gather information? I think you want to have Blitzen and Kohel do it. Um, we'll gather all the information you'll need, Your Highness. Uh, protect the townspeople? Um, I believe that um, Waymar was the one who could name all the women in the town, so he would be a, a fantastic person to send out out there. Your Highness, on our lives, we will protect the citizens of Alexandria. And uh, contact Lindblom to request reinforcements. I believe that Lotto was the one who, um, who's like an expert person who likes to write letters, right? So we'll contact Lindblom immediately, and that leaves uh, the last two to do whatever the heck they want to do. So we'll shoot that monster down in no time, Your Highness. And you get an award if you actually do this. You were splendid, Your Highness. Receive the angel earring. Beatrix, let's go! Everyone's gone. I don't know what to do. Mother, I need your help. Oh no! And this song is called Protecting My Devotion, by the way, and I love this song. <laughs> this is it, Beatrix. I will give my all for Alexandria. Well said. Let us march on to victory. And if you go ahead and take a look at what Beatrix has, she has amazing weapons. So let's go ahead and um, just give crappier items to people, basically. So let's give her a barbet, because why not? Thunder gloves are actually really good, so let's give her mithril gloves. We have a ton of those. And I want that item, so we'll take the chain mail from her, and I'm going to take the... And guess what? You don't get the yellow scarf anymore. I'm taking... I'm taking the yellow scarf off of you. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot I need to equip Steiner, right? Because he's... Oh, he's still learning Dark Side. I didn't realize that. He's still learning Somniac, and he is still working on stuff everywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Oh, my God. I get to use Beatrix again, and we're fighting Mystodon. So go figure. And whenever I say Mystodon, it makes me think of the Power Rangers and <laughs> Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. So I don't... Hopefully it doesn't make you think of that because otherwise you guys are just as old as me and just as weird. So let's go! The head attack. Awkward name for an attack, but okay. There we go. Okay, Steiner, you do not do any damage whatsoever now all of a sudden. Bad. Oh no, you gonna put everyone to sleep? Nah, we're still awake. We're good. Once again, I love this music. Okay, this guy is he is hurting Steiner when he's using the blood sword. I did not even realize that. 
Hold on. His timer is so screwed. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was. Cause I, I saw the first time I was like, I think he's taking damage away from Steiner. Oh, Steiner's dead. <laughs> and getting a, ba a level up on Beatrix doesn't really help me whatsoever, but whatever. Hold on. I gotta <laughs> gotta heal Steiner back up. I was like, I think I'm losing life. Here we go. Let's take the blood sword off of him. Ice brand mental break charge. Okay, I, I'm gonna totally do that. And I am too lazy to click the potion one. And basically, if you want to continue on with the storyline, you want to move down this way, so... Citizens, I will protect you! Beware, Beatrix, the, en the enemy is close! Oh, dang. And I'm gonna let the music play in the background, because this music is so good. And partly because I want to drink some more wine too, but whatever. See, that is what I'm talking about. Look at the difference that that made. Like, like before we thought like Beatrix was really BA, and all of a sudden Steiner is like the BA one, right? So, like he's pretty golly gosh darn, darn really good when you give him a really good sword. So let's keep on moving. Oh dang! Yeah, missed it on on parade. Oh crap! For your highness, for the princess. You can't tell me you don't love this music. This music is so good. I'm gonna turn this up too when I'm editing the video. I don't care if like if it's too loud for my commentary because the music is that good. So. I think the bigger question is why I'm not using all the things at Beatrix's disposal right here, so... So basically, I can one-hit KO this guy because Beatrix is amazing! That's what I thought. <laughs> but this is a great way for Steiner to earn a whole bunch of level ups. Like, if he didn't die in that first battle, that'd be really good, so... Run! <laughs> Prepare to die! I'm still letting the music play. Okay. <laughs> There's only one of them? I am disappointed in you, game. You don't think I can handle two of them? I got this. I got this on lockdown right now. And Steiner just does a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm sorry, he just does a ridiculous amount of damage. Although I have to admit that Zidane actually does more damage than him thinking about it, but still, like... Beatrix, are you alright? I'm fine, what about you? You're wounded? It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound, persistent bastards! I'll bite your knees! I like how the inner part of the, of the guy lights up like a Christmas tree. Do you see that? That's, I think that's really cool. There you go. I'm gonna have Beatrix cast here at first. Because like, everybody's pretty low in HP right now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fyra? I was not even aware that you could cast that. How much does that do? That doesn't do anything. Ha ha ha. Try a more intimidating weapon, that's what I'm talking about. But obviously, uh, the main thing about this particular area is you want to take everything good off of Beatrix that you can, because I think it's really hard to get across home later on, so keep that in mind. This is futile, let us return to the castle. No, I cannot face the princess until we destroy all these beasts! On my honor, I vow to protect the princess, the citizens of Alexandria, and... Beatrix, I shall protect you! Steiner... 
Watch out! And it's cute because I don't think that Steiner was actually in love with Beatrix before, but now he totally is, and I really like it. And I love the theme of love that goes along with this, because I felt like Final Fantasy VII had, like, a love that wasn't really reciprocated, you know? It was, like, Cloud loved people, but, it was, like, there was a distant love attached to it. But I feel like a lot of motivation for how people go about their actions within this game is love. And it's not cliche, and it, I don't think it's cliche in any way. It could be. That's because I'm, like, really lousy with love in general, but I feel like it does a really good job. Like, everyone's very motivated by by being with other people, so I think that's the way I want to phrase it. So, think of, a, think of a better way to phrase it. This might be it for us. I have no regrets. Beatrix, there's something I must tell you! What is it? Uh, I... Save your valediction, Steiner. We'll live to see another day. He loves you. Well, I can see what's happening. They fell in love tonight. <laughs> And they kind of liked each other before, but I'm glad that he found such a foxy lady. And the one thing is, this is the final battle in this particular area, because Steiner immediately goes into trance mode when it's the final battle. And if you remember what Steiner does in trance mode, his attack power triples. It's like off the chart, so... Here we go. So I'm going to have Steiner attack the one guy, and I'm going to have... I think I'm just going to have um, Beatrix attack the other person. Oh, well, I didn't realize that she already attacked first. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. But he... Yeah, but he does a ridiculous amount of damage when he just attacks people. I'm gonna let him continue to do the work. I don't think that fire would kill me. Oh, wow. Okay, so he put Steiner to sleep, and I can't attack him. Okay, I don't want him to get out of trance mode, though, because I want Steiner to finish the final blow to this, and I want him to get the experience as well. Son of a bitch, do not hit Steiner, you piece of crap. Okay. Steiner, you should wake up right now. You gotta protect... I'm pretty sure that you said that you wanted to protect Beatrix with your life. I think that's pretty much what you said. You can't go back on your words. So I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. You, you gotta wake up, fool. Okay, here we go. Yes! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Land on the law. Like a boss. Thank you, Steiner. I see the Sand Golem card. And I love getting all the Paradox, too, because it's gonna make Rama so much better in the long haul. Uh, I hear music. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from upstairs? I'm guessing that means I should go upstairs, and apparently if you go in the wrong direction, then um, your stone shocks you. What is this? Shock therapy? What is this? This is bad. <laughs> They're like, you cannot go this way, or that way, or this way. So, like, pretty much they dictate where you want to go. I don't know if you can save with that Moogle over there. Can you save with the Moogle, or would that shock you? Yeah, it does shock you. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted to check for you guys. Because uh, I, I didn't quite remember myself, so now you know. So, let's keep on going. And you cannot go through the tunnel, but I believe you can actually go up here. Because I believe this is the way that they want you to go. Because I don't get shocked when I go here. And, you know, I know how this uh, this reinforcement stuff works. And the creepy thing is that you cannot escape once they do that. The dagger is totally walking into a trap! What are you doing, woman? Actually, I should totally equip her with the appropriate things, right? What if she walks into an actual battle? Magic armlet, chimera armlet. What does chimera armlet have on it? Mug and add status, okay. I keep checking. She's still working on auto haste, okay. That's all that I needed to know. Did you know that your castle could do that, princess? I don't think you did. Okay, I don't like this whole walkway thing because it reminds me so much of the that one scene in Final Fantasy VII where Eris, you know, she, she kicks the bucket. I don't think that's much of a surprise, but yeah, it reminds me of that because it reminds me of going down that one area, so... So devastating. What is this place? I can still hear the music. Where is it coming from? What am I doing here? Oh, mother? It's Dane. No, I can't depend on them anymore. As the Queen of Alexandria, I must protect my kingdom.